All right. Today's video, we're going to cover how to check the fragmentation of indexes within your database. Uh, this should be a pretty quick video. We're not going to cover on the creation uh, of indexes or rebuilding or reorganizing. Uh, we'll have uh, subsequent videos talking about that. But what this query will be able to do is show you what your fragmentation is per index, as well as the page count. Um, you can find this script out on our GitHub uh, link down in the description. We will have this script posted out there. So if you want to copy and paste that and use that for your own, uh, that is great. So uh, to get straight to the point, you want to point your database uh, here in the first line. And right now, the very bottom, we are only looking at indexes where that have a page count of 1,000 or greater. Uh, so let's go ahead and start out by commenting this out. We're looking at all schemas as well. So we're using the AdventureWorks 2016 database uh, that Microsoft has provided us. And you can quickly see here, the we're sorting by fragmentation. So you can see here, there, there are, uh, so let's start with the rule of thumb. The rule of thumb is, is any, any index um, that is, has fragmentation greater than 35%, you want to rebuild anything between 5 and 35%, you want to reorganize and anything less than 5%, uh, you can just let it be. There's, there's not a performance drop off. Um, so that's kind of the rule of thumb that Microsoft SQL Server has uh, instilled. And right here, you can, you know, if you just took that rule of thumb and you quickly looked here, you'd see you have several indexes that are above 35%. Um, but what you don't want to do is you don't want to immediately rebuild these because the rebuild is based on the page count. The page count uh, needs to roughly be greater than 1,000 for it to matter. Just think of um, each page containing X amount of rows um and then you know, if you have a thousand pages that's sort of when the fragmentation starts to build up uh, so the rule of thumb is anything less than a thousand pages and fragment you know you, you sort of want to ignore um, oftentimes you can have a very small reference table or a dimensional table that has like seven rows that have a clustered index or a non-clustered index on it and that index you know is 80 percent Frag fragmentation, you yeah, know, but it could be one page, you yeah, know, there's four or five rows. So it's not exactly going to limit any query that joins to that table uh, significantly. If you want to learn more about indexes, uh, I'll link a really detailed article down in the description. Uh, so, but for the sake of this query, what you'll want to do in your, your environment, you'll want to, in this where clause, uh, in, ensure that the page count is greater uh, than a thousand. Uh, if you want to only look at the DBO schema, which is most often in a lot of environments, that's that's the case. Uh, but because we're working in VentureWorks 2016, there isn't quite a lot in the DBO schema. And we'll take a quick look here. And as you see, everything's looking pretty good. So like I said, this video isn't intent on rebuilding or reorganizing indexes. And we'll we'll talk about that in the next video as well as pro, pro, like approaching a SSIS automated job programmatically uh, when inserting and updating records into a table, which could affect your indexes. If you have any questions or comments, please leave those down below. Don't forget to subscribe. And you guys have a great day. Thanks so much.